objective of this video is to calculate work performed by the net force or by forces that make up a net force on an object that undergoes a specified change in speed or kinetic energy. So a, an example of this kind of problem would be um, the following. If it takes 4,000 joules of energy, kinetic energy, I guess, um, sorry, work, it takes 4,000 joules of work to accelerate an object from rest to 10 meters per second over 20 meters. Um, A, how much energy is required to change it from 10 meters per second to 20 meters per second? So let's first look at question A. Uh, question B is asking um, if the same force is applied, how much distance would be covered uh, between 10 and 20 meters per second? All right, so for question A, we're basically asked um, about three different points. We're asked about the initial um, kinetic energy naught, which if it's at rest, that's going to be zero joules. And then there's kinetic energy um, when it reaches 10 meters per second. I'm calling it kinetic energy one. Um, it's going to have 4,000 joules of kinetic energy, but we also know that it's going at some speed, uh, 10 meters per second. I'm just going to call that one half m v squared for now. And then sometime later, we're going twice as fast. So we're going to have uh, kinetic energy two. I'm calling that point when it reaches 20 meters per second. We're going to have one half m not v squared, but rather twice as much velocity. So I'm going to write 2 v squared. So 1 half m 2 v squared. Now, 2 squared is 4, and v squared is just v squared. So 4 times a half is just 2 m v squared. Now, compare these two values. Looks like the kinetic energy at point 2 is four times as great as the kinetic energy at point 1. That means when we get to 20 meters per second, we should have four times as much kinetic energy as we did when we were at 10 meters per second. So I'll write that as a relationship. Kinetic energy at point 2 is equal to four times the kinetic energy at point 1. All right, so then the question says if it takes the 4,000 joules to get to point 1, then um, how much would it take to go from point 1 to point 2? What amount of energy do we need to go from kinetic energy 1 to kinetic energy 2? Well, let's use this relationship and we'll say um, the amount of work done to go from 1 to 2 would be equal to the change in kinetic energy, Ke2 minus Ke1. Now we can substitute because we know that um, Ke2 is 4 times Ke1, so then we can just say 4 Ke1 minus Ke1. So the amount of work needed to go from point 1 to point 2 is just um, 4 minus 1 times k1. So that's going to be 3 k1, where ke1 was 4,000 joules. So 3 times 4,000 joules is just 12,000 joules. All right, now let's look at part B. Question B says, um, if we had the same amount of force applied as previously, how much distance would be covered uh, from 10 to 20? Now, recall, they told us that the, the first amount of work, the work required to go from point 0 to point 1, um, which is an amount of force times um, distance travel, cosine would be 0 in this case, so that's just what because there's no angle between the force and the displacement. Well, they told us that was uh, 4,000 joules. And we also know that um, the amount of work done going from 1 to 2 is 3 times that much. 
so therefore the amount of work needed to go from uh, 1 to 2 is going to be the same force times some other distance. Remember, we knew that this one was 10, so we'll call this D2, and D2 is going to be unknown, equals 12,000 joules. Well, if that first distance, D1, was just 10, then we can solve for D2 um, simply by dividing this first equation by the second equation. So let's divide them out. Uh, and when we do, we get D2 over 10 equals uh, 12,000 divided by 4,000 is just 3. So then multiply both sides by 10 and distance 2 has to be 3 times 10, which is 30 meters. Okay, now you try one. A car traveling at 30 meters per second must come to a complete stop over 90 meters. What is the minimum frictional force required for the car to stop? Pause the video if you have to, and then uh, when you're ready to check your work, Press play again.